Everybody, today I want to go on a little kayak adventure, and uh, I got a couple friends I'm going to meet down here at the reservoir. We're going to do a little fire and uh, hang out for a bit, and try to do some bank fishing. And uh, everybody's going to test out the kayak and get on it and see what they're all about. So uh, stick with me, and uh, maybe we'll go out on a kayak and try to do some fishing and some exploring, see what we find out there. Oh here. So hey guys, uh I'm out here doing a little bit of fishing and uh all my buddies left me. Uh, they started a little fire and uh, did a little bit of fishing and then got out of here. But I decided to stay out here on the uh, reservoir a little bit longer and do some more fishing. And, uh, I'm out in the middle of the reservoir on this pier I found. Just sitting out here in the middle of the reservoir and beast a kayak and uh. Checking it out. Do a little bit of fishing right here. See what I get. Stick with it. Looks like I found me another uh, duck line out here in the uh, middle of the reservoir. And uh, just going to check it out. See what it's all about. Pretty cool in there. You want to hunt some uh, ducks and stuff. Just out here in the middle of the reservoir. Sitting all by itself. I guess you, if you want to duck hunt, you just come out here and beat your boat and uh, get in there and wait for some ducks to come by. found me a balloon here. I'm going to get out over here and see what it's all about. Let's see if I can grab it. There it is. Uh -oh. This looks like a party balloon, but I wanted to see if it had uh, anything attached to it, like a celebration or something. So. Hey everybody, I just found me another little treasure right here. It's a, uh, looks like it's some kind of seed or something like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can snap it up and see what it's all about. Maybe I could salvage it and uh, use it. It's toast. Came across another uh, duck blind. Let y'all guys check it out. This one's got bucket seats in it. Pretty cool. It's got a 
nice bucket seats in this one. Got a little bobber fine over here. Let's see if I can get over here and get it. found me another one of them Clorox bottles. I want to go ahead and take this one out of here. That's for this thing right here is for jugging and uh, just polluting the environment. So I'm going to get it out of here. Came up on shore and found another nice lure. The hook right here is kind of rusted off, but everything else is intact. And uh, that's a nice little find there. I'm done my little kayak adventure and I'm on land now and uh, I've been doing some fishing out there and exploring on the Buckhorn Reservoir but uh, nothing was biting so I decided to jump on land and uh, see if I could find me some mushrooms and uh, I think I found my first batch. I'll let you all take a look at these. There's another little uh, batch over here. Just came up, but uh, this is my first find for the day, and uh, for mushrooms that is, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take these. And uh, all right, guys, I found me another little batch along this little creek right here, right over here. Sitting right there waiting for somebody to come along and get them. Get back with you. Find any more. Alright, I just found me another little batch of mushrooms right here, but I believe these are way too far gone to harvest them. It's on a dead branch. From the looks of them, they look like they are. Let's see. They look kind of like oyster mushrooms, but I'm not sure in there really 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 firm so I want to go ahead and leave these alone they're not oyster mushrooms they actually look like oyster mushrooms but the uh, the gills don't come all the way down to this to the spine they are more like separated almost like a polypore mushroom so can't identify this mushroom but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this alone and uh keep on searching there's a couple little more of them growing on this dead tree right here or this plant so I'll keep searching there's a uh, another little shot of a mushroom growing on a, a branch uh, just like the other ones I just found but uh, like I said, I can't identify it, and it's really dead branch. It just, just falls apart. But uh, don't know what kind of mushroom that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one alone, also, and uh, keep on searching. All right, guys, I just came across this batch of mushrooms getting ready to pop up, and uh, I have no idea what these are, but if you can see them. They are they're just starting to pop out. Pretty big, pretty big mushroom. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick one and look at it. Give you guys a shot of it. I can't identify this mushroom either, but uh, so it's just gonna stay here. Got another batch of them coming up over here. thrown out of the ground they got a, a long stem on them white really 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 moist just starting to pop up got another batch over here There's another little batch right here under these leaves coming up. 
pretty mushrooms, but I have no idea if they're poisonous or not, so I'm just going to check them out. And, uh, examine them and maybe later on as I get better at mushroom harvesting I can go ahead and identify them and harvest them if they are edible or not but until now you just leave them alone let them be if you can't identify them I'll keep on searching well here's another little batch of them mushrooms I can't identify also uh, probably about four or five of them they're only about this, uh, three or four inches round, and uh, they look like a polypore. They don't have the gills, so I know they're not oyster mushrooms, but they certainly do look similar to oyster mushrooms. But you see in there, they got the polypore uh, spore print or whatever it is. Um, Little batch hiding over here. I want to go ahead and check these out. See what they are. Oyster mushrooms. Go ahead and pick them and uh, put them with my bunch. There's another little batch over here growing. Way too young. And, uh, and now I don't see any more, so I'm going to keep on searching. Alright everybody, I just found me another little stash of, uh, looks like they're oyster mushrooms, but I believe they're way, way too uh, far gone to go ahead and harvest, but they are right in here. Oyster mushrooms growing out of the side of this stump. There's another one over there growing. A couple little more over here. Popping out. Pretty moist. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave these big ones alone and uh, see if I can get a couple of these little ones down here. I thought I was done for the day, but I'm on my way back and uh, came across this log right here that's falling down. So I decided to go ahead and come up here and take a look, but I believe I found me a jackpot of uh, oyster mushrooms up here. And uh, it's late December. Uh, so right now will be the time to go ahead and get these bad boys because when the frost comes and the snow comes I don't think they're going to be growing anymore but it seems like I got a whole bunch of them growing along here. Just 
popping all out of this log all the way down. There's a couple more down over here. Growing down under here, just popping out. I'm gonna say that's about a pound, so I might go ahead and pick these and uh take these back to the house. I got about a pound so far, but uh it's always good to have three or four pounds for the winter. <laughs> Alright, stick with me if I find any more. Alright guys, I think I'm done mushroom hunting for the day and uh been a long day. I started in the morning time out there kayaking and uh, tried a little fishing and I got bored of that and uh, decided to get up on shore and go out in the woods and see if I can find some mushrooms but uh, found me a whole bunch of them. Oyster mushrooms. Give you a little shot of them and uh, like I said if you enjoy eating mushrooms and like mushrooms I encourage you to get out there in the wild and uh, learn about them and uh, go out there and get them yourself. And uh, especially these oyster mushrooms can be really expensive in the stores. And uh, that's a real pretty bunch right there. Nice and white, young, tender. And uh, if you enjoyed the uh, adventure I went on today, go ahead and like the video. And if you want to, subscribe to our channel. Arrowhead Adventures and Treasures. Uh, this is Billy and I'm signing out. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.